Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy. Logic 10.4.2 just came out the other day. So over the weekend, I created a 10 part completely free mini course over at macprovideo.com that outlines all of the main new features. So yes, this video is a redirect to make you aware of the course. But before you go clicking away, the 10 part mini course is 100% free. You don't have to log in. You don't even have to create an account with Mac Pro Video. You just click on the link in the video description and it'll take you straight there and you can watch the whole thing for free. So there's no caveat to that other than you have to watch it from their site rather than on YouTube. So what I will go over in this video is what updates are covered in each part of the course. So think of this as kind of an introduction to the new features in Logic 10.4.2. And then you can go and check out the course and you can uh, check out each of these updates in more detail. So the big one is that you can relocate the sound library without using any stupid aliases or anything like we used to do in Logic 9 and earlier. There's literally an option now where you can just relocate your entire sound library to an external drive, to another internal drive, wherever you want. The next big update is an Alchemy. Uh, there's actually a couple updates to Alchemy. One, there's a uh, some new... Uh, drag and drop hot zones for dragging in samples, and there's also a few uh, user interface updates that are really nice. There's a few big updates to Smart Tempo, particularly with uh, multi-track stems and multi-track recordings. Um, Smart Tempo now has the ability to analyze the sort of composite tempo or the group tempo analysis of multi-track recordings. So when you drag them in, you can either make Logic conform to the multi-track recording, or you can conform the multi-track recording to the Logic project and keep everything in phase. So I do this with electronic drums uh, so with, and some electronic loops, and I also do this with multi-track drums. So the other smart tempo enhancement has to do with MIDI performances that are not played to a metronome. So smart tempo can actually learn the tempo of a MIDI performance that you play in without a metronome. So I cover all of those smart tempo enhancements in a lot more detail here. Uh, there's also some mixing updates. There's a new uh, mixer mode called Sends on Faders. That's really cool. Um, you can also address sends directly to outputs as opposed to having to address them to an aux track first and then address the aux track to an output. So that's really cool. And there's a couple other uh, minor updates with automation and uh, the meters as well. Again, I cover these in more detail in these two videos. And then the last three videos are sort of just some minor changes. Um, the first of these, number eight, is articulation key switches. The key switches icon has been changed to say articulation now, and they've created a new shortcut to open the articulation editor. But what I've done in this video, in addition to showing those two updates, because they're really minor updates, um, I also show you how to actually use articulation key switches with the session strings instruments. So let's say you wanna have sustained legato style playing, but also like pizzicato plucked playing in the same MIDI sequence. I show you how to do that here in part eight. Uh, part nine, I just cover some editing updates. Uh, there's one minor update to the remove silence or strip silence uh, dialogue. And also I talk about uh, a new auto deselect function when using fades. And then the very last part, I talk about how you can now add photos to your notepads, both your project notepad and your track notepad. So this is a cool thing to have if you want to reference an actual photo that you've taken in the studio, maybe a particular preamp or EQ or compression setting, you can now reference that by adding a photo of that hardware onto your notepads. So that's just a quick overview of all 10 of these videos. Um, go check out the full course in the link in the video description below, and I go into all 10 of these updates in a lot more detail, and I demonstrate each one. So go check that out at macprovideo.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy this new Logic 10.4.2 course, and thanks for watching.